What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cardboard Can. We are up to box number two in case number two. Now, the previous box in case number two, not that great because we didn't get an SIR, and not that great because we didn't add anything to the actual set, but we did get a couple doubles that are kind of highly sought out after in terms of competitive and collective because we've got like the Growlithe and all that kind of stuff. So not too bad. To be expected, as I had mentioned beforehand, we're like a full case and a box in. It's to be expected. The, the fact that the first box provided what it did in itself was amazing because I don't think there's many IRs left and full outs left and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of SIRs left. So if we get an SAR hit, we're hoping we don't hit a double. But if we do, we hope we get a good one. But I'd like to pull the Perrin and the Greninja by the time this box is done. Who knows if we're going to get there. We might not, because I always have one Goblin, one Gremlin in every single set. This one, it might be the Greninja. And Perrin, it could be both. I reckon it'll only be one. I think my, my vote is it's going to be the Perrin. It's going to be Perrin. You know what? We're going to pull that Greninja. We're getting, we're getting that Greninja. I don't, I don't care what anyone says or thinks. We're gonna get it. All right, we're gonna start off with the uh, the left side because the left side is always underwhelming. We want to finish off strong. Sorry if it is any uh, right of box believers out there, but I always feel I always feel great with the right hand side. All right, so we got our first base ex hit, which is a scream tail. Unfortunately, not a, a blood urge Solano. Would have been nice. But as we go along in the set, it is set like the sets for the, for modern and for Scarlet Violet. If you kind of ignore base Scarlet Violet, because base Scarlet Violet was kind of... Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, so two hits and two. So again, another double, but a good double to get. So we got a pincer um, illustration rare. Let's just sleeve this up. And for those, if this is your first video, hopefully you become a long-time viewer. Let's have a nice look at this pincer. The, art, the artwork on these are just cool. Like... I think this is the same person that drew the Lana's aid as well. I'm not too certain. Hopefully we pull that one. And we can figure out if it is or not. Um, so already... <laughs> okay, that's bad. I always say... like <laughs> Every time I say something, I, I put my foot in it. Like, the left-hand side is slow. This, like, And if we think about it, the last video, the left-hand side didn't have anything until the end. And it had six hits on the side. And now this one just starts off strong with two hits straight away. That's a bit weird. That's another double again. That's a triple now. It's a triple full art. So we've got two extra Palafin full arts to offload. Three and three packs from the front of the box? Hello? What's going on here? Is this an error box? Is this an error box? Nah, surely not. No way it's an error box. I'm never that lucky. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's corrected itself. It's now back to sadness again. <laughs> that's um That's a start. Um that looked rigged for a little bit there. The colors are off. So yeah. <laughs> I noticed that straight away. I was like the colors are off. Look. The secret is a little bit lighter on the top there. The 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 A spec is a bit lighter. So I can almost tell now, like, it doesn't even matter if you turn it around and kind of keep it a secret from yourself. You can almost tell if you've got a hit just by looking closely at the back. You know, let's try, let's try to do that from now on. Let, let's, let's see, let's see if I can figure out whether or not a hit is a hit just from the back. This is, this is some, this is some clairvoyant stuff now. This is some clairvoyant stuff. Because I didn't even feel the front like I usually do. It's like, oh, <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. The back one's got like a little bit of a lighter color, so maybe that's an IR. I don't know, but I don't think so. No. For me, what I've noticed is the hit is either the first card or the second card out of the three hollow, like the three switch. Like it's either the first card, and you can normally usually feel it because it's going to be an A spec, or it's like the middle card. And I don't think this is going to have anything in it. Because it looks like the normal printed cards. Like the normal holo printed cards are always really dark. Okay, or well, I could be completely wrong. Let's have a look. Yeah, 
It is a little bit lighter. <laughs> the Greninja is a little bit lighter. So we've, uh, obviously, like, whenever we see a base EX or a Terra EX, it's always going to be a double, triple, quadruple. But we've hit the right one, which is all that matters right now. We've hit the right one. Greninja and Dragapult is what you want in the Terra EX. So in your three, your, your three possibles per box, and you're getting a Greninja or a Dragapult, you've scored. The last card is a little bit different color. Lana's Aid, Moonferno, and Zapdos. Man, this uh, this supposing from the behind is a little bit difficult. This is almost like when you think you know somebody from behind, and you go up and tap the shoulder and there's someone completely different, you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> I don't know you. Last card is, um, whoa, those are really dark, man. It's almost like they're printing these in different factories and just like sending it to one other factory. I think the, the third holo or something. Nah. It's so weird, I don't get it. Maybe it's... Hmm. I don't know. I'm sitting here theorizing and trying to figure out why they're all weird different colors. And I'm wondering if when you send these in for grading, if that comes into play as well. Like, I'm not... I haven't graded a single card yet. I'm... I will eventually start doing that kind of stuff. But if anyone out there understands grading, is a big grading a big grading nut. Is the coloration of the back of the card into play or do they count that as like a, an error? Like does that not like get like a proper grading because it's considered an error if it's too light? Because look at that. Look look at the darkness between those and those. Look, you can see it. Like, you don't even have to stare too hard. It's like, look, look how dark that is. And these are just, like, normal things. And then, I don't get it. It's weird. It's not even, like, like it's not like, it's not like one shade slightly different. It's, it's multiple shades. Look at that. <laughs> and it's not like they're... It's not like one's a trainer card and one's a Pokemon. They're just like all Pokemon stuff. I don't get it. I don't know if that's if that's print quality, if that's print control, or if they're literally sending this. They've just like got multiple different warehouses and someone's got the other. The saturation turned up too high on another on like <laughs> on the machine at one warehouse and it's not matching up with the rest of the other warehouses. That's what it feels like. I'm uncertain. But it is a bit of a trip seeing it. And these are all predominantly the same. Sunken, Kadabra, and oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so whenever we see a base EX, like I said before, we're never going to find something for the set because we've got them all from the first case. So we want to double up, triple up, quadruple up on the good stuff. And so far, We've gotten three good stuff out of the left-hand side. So we've still got quite a few base EXs in here to go. We probably want to try and, if we can, hit another Ursa Luna. But you rarely get doubles out of the same box. Hmm. You rarely get doubles out of the same box. So is, is, is Growlithe meant to be hard to get? <laughs> <laughs> is Growlithe meant to be hard to get? Because that's my double double. Wow. I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. Because I don't know how many IRs I'm missing. Oh, you know what? I'll have a quick check after this video and in the third video I'll catch up on how many IRs we need. But at the moment we're doubling up on the right ones. Which is good. Obviously. It's good. Of course it's good. Got Brew Bonnet. Phoebus. I think... Oh! I, yeah, we already have this already, unfortunately. But someone else out there will want it. I believe we actually have all the full arts of the Ogre Pond masks. Just not the uh, SIRs of the Ogre Pond masks. We've only got the Water Spring one so far. Wow, this side's got eight hits. You know, this box does feel a bit weird. I'm, I'm hoping that that doesn't, like, kind of... 
cross over onto the other side and rob the right hand side of all the boxes because that will completely make me look quite the fool after I um after I had uh given my endorsement so stunningly to the right hand side. That that should be bad. <laughs> that could be bad. One, two, three. There's no way it goes over eight hits, right? Surely not. Froakie, Inferno. Save your Froakies, your Frogadiers, people. The Bling Deckers will want them. And so Yukimori cards, Yukimori fans represent. Very avid Yukimori fan. Alright, last packet on the left hand side. Evolga. Baroom and we've got a water spring terror. Okay, and I think out of all from what I've been seeing, out of all the uh Ogapon base EXs, the water spring is the one that's being used. I'm not too sure if they're actually using the other ones in any major decks. Um if anyone's using them in any, any major decks, they're probably like it's an Ogapon themed deck. And it probably isn't as competitive as the other ones. But the water, the well, keep on calling it a water spring. I think I'm, I'm thinking of World of Warcraft. I'm so, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the wellspring, wellspring ogre pond is the one that's being used in random decks, like I think Chin Pao and all that kind of stuff. I think. But so far, for a left hand side of the box, that's that's nine hits. That's a bit worrying because that means that my right hand side of the box has nothing. But Let's hold on to hope because they should buy what's the word I'm looking for? I use it a lot in the other ones. By sample sizing, there's a relatively high chance that okay, well there's another there's another base What's going on? I think I might have got this this box might be a little bit broken. This one might be a little bit broken. There's a relatively high chance that this is one of the boxes in the cases that has the alt art. We hope so. <laughs> we hope. So we've already got two Terra EXs on the base. We've got two normal EXs from Blissey and Screamtail. We've got two IRs. So we've still got a fair amount in here, depending on whether or not this is a broken box or not, because we might actually get a lot more than we would. But at the same time, I think this might just be a might just be a real weird packaging issue. All right. Oh, well, there we go. Scoop up Cyclone and Torkoal. So this is weird. So that was a double hit pack. We've already got Torkoal, unfortunately. So that's our third IR. And our second A spec. And we still have a lot of packets to go. Um, I'm a little worried that this whole box is already dead now. If it is following the formula, box is very much dead. Unless there is a alt art in here. But I am not holding on to hope because I think up until this point and I've been opening packs for a little tiny bit, not too long, around I keep on forgetting, you know what, I need to like write the date on a wall just so I can refer to it. I think it was like 2021? October 2021 I think, I can't remember. It was even around, it was when Lost Origin and Astral Radiance and, and Lost Origin and Astral Radiance were out at the same time. There we go. We've triangulated an origin point at least. I started when Astral Radiance and Lost Origin were out at the same time. I don't know, I wasn't there for a release of them. But I haven't come across like a god pack. I haven't come across a... And when I say God Pack, I mean like if you open up the Japanese ones and you get like, uh, like the the V Star ones where you get the um, 
the, the, the nine Pokemon in the one packet. I haven't opened up one of those. I haven't opened up a God pack from 151. I haven't opened up one of those weird packets that seemed a bit, a bit rigged. Where it's like, hey, for some reason there's like six foils in here or something. I haven't opened up one of those yet. The only error kind of pack I've opened is when I've opened up four packs in a box. And they've all been filled with like, you know, like... You get Pikachu, Raichu, whatever, whatever, and the next pack will be the same one again and again. I've gotten like a sequential ordering error. But in terms of like a beneficial error, not really. So, whoa, okay, so that's that's four IRs. That's four IRs, that's a Timber. Four IRs right there. And now because I've gotten a spare of the Timber, I have a friend that wants one of those. So that's pretty cool. He's into the uh, Pokemon helping people and namely construction. So this <laughs> this box is weird. There has to be an alt art in here. This box is too good. I think there's like one of those magic 15. Is it 15 hit box? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. 13, there's still a few packs to go. I think there was something in here, I just kind of... I think it might be the Teal Ogre Pond. Yep. Teal Mask Ogre Pond. So that's our third Terra card from this box. There you go. So 14 hits. 14 hits and still quite a few packs left. Is there? Canty, nose pass, and monkey door. Nothing in that one. Ah, oh, please be an alt art in this one because this is a, actually a really good box and it's kind of like it's completely it's completely defied everything I said before and it's making me look quite the fool. This is the best time to be wrong though. <laughs> Left hand side, always quiet, never provides. Provides. And then keeps on providing. But not a bad bunch of um, extra cards in here with the, the Pinsa, the Greninja, the Blood, the Blood Earth Luna, the... <laughs> the Greninja, the Growlithe is a big one. Lucky Helmet, Crawdaunt, and Arcanine. Okay, so it's... Getting a little bit quiet now. Getting a little quiet, but... But... Nope. Okay, it's gotten very quiet, which means there's probably nothing in here, or there's just the last one alt art in here. Because I got 9, 10, 14. So there probably is one more hidden here, and it's probably the alt art. If it's going to be anything. Track look. Phoebus. Oh. Is that four terrors? That is four terror. Oh, okay. So that might have just eaten up the last hit in the box, because that makes it like now a 15 hit box. Um, jeez. You know, let's kind of hope that the rest of the, the rest of the case is like this. But start giving SIRs, please, because making me a little sad. Uh, belly bolt, corpish. Hey, what's going on? Hello. I didn't expect more hits like that. What is this box? Yeah, you know what, if there is an alt art in the last three packets, like last four packets, which... It's four packets. No, three packets. There's still a chance that the alt art's in here. This is ridiculous. That's a lot of hits out of one box. Have a look here. We have Pinsa, Skarmory, and Iron Leaves. Chuck this to the side. Second last packet. 
I got a funny feeling there's no alt heart in this one, and it's going to be like another base EX if there is another hit. Dracluck, Timber, and Monkey Dory. And have a look through, nothing there. Alright, lucky last packet. Oh, this one opened up very easily. I think we've got something. All right, let me let me just. We've got only one full art in this, two full arts in this one, so this could either be a full art or this could be an alt art. Another Terra card? What happened? Alright, so we've unfortunately run into two boxes in a row that doesn't have the alt art in it. But that is a lot of... That is a lot of hits. Like, if you weren't... If you bought this box... <laughs> And yeah, you don't get an SIR, but if you bought this box, you'd be pretty happy with that. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 hits. So, for me on a personal level, nothing in here is going towards the set. But, I will say, we've got a Nikago, we've got a Palafin, we've got an Ogre Pond Flame Mask, we've got a Teal Mask. Timber, which will sell. Wall, um, Wellspring Mask, which will sell. Scoop Up Cyclone, which will sell. Toll Call, which will sell. Cornerstone Ogre Pond, which will sell. Growlithe, that will really sell. Ursulina, which will really sell. Greninja, that will really sell. Secret Box, probably not so much. Blissey, which will probably sell. Palafin, which will be tradable. Pinsa, which will definitely sell. And then Screamtail for the Screamtail fans. So, in a sense... This box paid for itself and then some, because that's actually quite a lot of cards to sell very early on, and you'd be you'd be easily making back more more than what you spent on this singular box. So if we look at that positively, this was actually an amazing box. Hopefully though, the last four boxes do have SIRs in them, because um I'm starting to feel a little bit of the heat, because I need to get this set completed. Because this set's really nice once you have everything together. And hopefully it lines up properly. That being said, I still need to go look up at the promos that GameStop and EB Games are printing. Before I start setting out the book and ruin it. It's happened before. It's happened before. That being said though guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one.